bench down, all that stuff. So just training for that, and you know, I got to prep for when I came here for the interviews and all that stuff. So. Well, what? Good. What? Um, how would you describe your game? I would say my game's like aggressive, sometimes too aggressive. So you know <laughs> what I mean. But uh, yeah, I like to set the tone sometimes and get the guys going. And I think that's like one of the biggest things I, I like to bring to the table is just being aggressive. Uh, have, have you met with the Jets? And uh, if, if so, then how would it feel playing with a possible, possible Hall of Famer and Aaron Rodgers? I mean, I couldn't explain that. I seen Frank Gore, I seen all those guys today, and I was amazed myself. So seeing Aaron Rodgers, the man, so, uh, I don't know. I'd be honestly speechless if I met that guy. So. As you kind of talk about your play as a dominant player, especially in the running game, talk a little bit about pass protection, though, in the one-on-ones, because that's where a lot of money is made here at the Senior Bowl. Uh, talk about your process going against the best of the best in college football and just kind of that, uh, those, that experience of kind of working on that side of your game with pass protection. Yeah, you know, like everybody likes to say, you know, oh, he's a great uh, run blocker and stuff, but I, I just want to be able to show, like, you know, I'm well balanced. You know, I can do a little tackle myself, so, you know, like tackle sets and stuff like that. And, you know, definitely working that on the uh, offseason with uh, Paul Alexander. You know, you know, he's a great coach and stuff. And uh, he's definitely helped me to, like, you know, win my one-on-ones this game. So, with that, talking a little bit about the system that you ran at Oregon State, kind of break down kind of like a, like zone gap, kind of like your background with all the different systems and kind of that knowledge that you got at Oregon State as you carry it on to the pros. Yeah, so my online coach was Jim Halchek. Uh, he's a big guy. You know, he was a, he's a veteran. He was in, in, the, in the league for a little bit, coaching up there with the Raiders and stuff. Uh, you know, it's a very complicated playbook, I would say. You know, it's a lot of rules and a lot of, but it all makes sense at the end of the day. You know, once you get it down, it kind of clicks for you. And uh, just coming here, just to be able to apply those plays, it's the same exact plays, just a little different terminology. You know, it's just like, I'm, I'm thankful for that because it's like, it's all basically the same thing, just different words. Have you had any conversations with the Steelers recently or talked to Mike Tomlin since he's up close in person with everyone on the field? Yeah, it was crazy. I, I met Mike Tomlin during the interviews the other day and it was uh, it was kind of surprising. I didn't, I, I didn't expect him to be there. So uh, just meeting him, you know, I got a couple family members that are Steelers fans. And, you know, just be able to talk to that guy in real life is kind of crazy. So. Have you ever a chance to talk to the uh, Raiders at all? Yeah, yes, sir. So I got to talk to the Raiders yesterday and the day before. We had uh, interviews uh, downstairs. How did that go? And, uh... Yeah, it was a good one. Uh, you know, the Raiders, they asked me about, like, personal stuff and stuff, like, like all other interviews. So it was, like, it was a good meeting, though. Those guys are great. You know, this is a good-on-good good situation here at uh, the Senior Bowl. Um, you know, how does that help your game that every day, every breakfast against a fellow NFL player? Um, it's good. You know, that's probably the main reason I came down here, just to get that extra work in and, you know, get a competition, get a little taste of what it feels like to go against NFL uh, kind of caliber guys. And, you know, it's a great feeling just to get that extra work in with those guys. It was really I was back with the uh, Chicago Bears yet, and if so, was Ryan Poles uh, in attendance? Uh, there's a lot of names, so I, I honestly forget a lot of names to be yeah, honest. Ryan Poles is the Bears GM that he was a offensive lineman in college. I think so. I think I'm pretty sure I met that guy. But the Bears, you know, we had a good conversation the other day. Uh, obviously, I don't have a great memory of the names, but uh, yeah, the Bears, you know, they were great guys. They asked great questions and stuff, so yeah. Yeah, and uh, would you be willing to play guard for the first couple of seasons? Yeah, definitely. You know, whatever the team asks, like I'm willing to do, just be able to like, you know, as long as I get reps in it and just rep it out myself and you know practice that over time and over time. So if they ask me to move the guard, I'm willing to do whatever they say. I was reading a scouting report that said uh, there's questions about his arm length, and I'm just reading that. I'm thinking like, man, I don't know how long my arms are. Like, did did you know how long your arms are? Was that something you were even aware that was a part of this process? I honestly did not know that was a part of this process, but uh, I guess it was like 33 something. I'm not too sure about how any of that works, but uh, I think as long as like in the end of the day, you can just stop your guy in front of you. So that's all I can say. Did you ever like feel like? Did, when you heard that, did that have, like click in your brains, like oh, that's why this happens, or w were you surprised? I guess I don't. No, I think as long as you know, like everybody over here, like has the ability to be anybody, you know, and uh, just being able to get out there on a tackle set, like as long as your technique is, in, in, you know, is clicking for you, then you can stop anybody, really. Speaking of good on good, you obviously had a great battle with Lance and Lazio in the regular season this year when UCLA played uh, at Oregon State Homecoming. Guys have game matched up in drills a lot down here. What's it like going one on one with that guy? Uh, it's always great, man. He's a he's a very good pass rusher. You know, like top of the top of the line kind of guy in the nation. Uh, you know, he's a very like he's an active rusher. He doesn't stop. You know, he might stop one move and he got another one in the back of his bag. So, you know, just going against him, it's like it's very good because you know it just keeps coming and it's like it's another caliber guy for NFL caliber guy. So, you know, it's great to go against that guy. I saw you uh, yesterday after practice. You were kind of standing back, working on some footwork techniques with a couple other guys. Was there any reason for that specifically? Yeah, just you know, just get extra like tackle sets. And you know, we haven't put pads on in a while since like November. So 
just knocking that rust off in the first day. So, yeah. and there's a little rumor going around the Jets are pretty interested in you. Uh, would you be able to play both tackle positions? What's your familiarity with the, with the other tackle position, and uh, what would you prefer to do? So yeah, I played a uh, left tackle in high school, but when I got to college, it was just mainly right tackle and just like a little bit of guard reps in in, in practice, never live games. But uh, yeah, I, I prefer whatever the team prefers, honestly. Uh, I think it's just like a rep thing. As long as I can get reps in that left tackle, I think I can do that. So. Right, and I saw you today uh, primarily focused on you for the for the national team. Uh, I saw you pick up a lot of stunts today pretty pretty easily. Uh, what do you work with on your technique to do that? Or is that a lot of natural ability that comes to play? It definitely wasn't natural. You know, I didn't come out the, the wolves like, uh, you know, stop and twist and stuff. So uh, uh, that was just from, like, college and stuff. You know, um, kids, Coach uh, Mahalchek, he was, like, big on those twists and stuff. When you got that wide three and that wide five, just setting back with that drag hand. It's, like, a big thing to be able to stop those twists. Absolutely. Last question for me. Your footwork's incredible. I, I got to commend you on that. And your, your hands, but you don't overextend. You're very good. Uh, who, who gave you trouble today on the defensive side, if anybody? Yeah, definitely that Penn State guy. You know, he gave me a little trouble with the, with the edge rush. So. Like, you know, I, I didn't expect to be caught up at the at the end, so, you know, it was a good battle with that guy. So that one-on-one -on -one at the end, I, I, I try to win, so I had to try to get that win. So. I'm sure you've been asked about this a lot, but with everything that's happening with Oregon State, to go out there with that beaver helmet on one more time, do you really feel like you're going to be representing an awful lot of people uh, to show that program's all about on Saturday? Yes, sir. You know, like I said, you know, an underrated team, and, you know, we're always looked down on in uh, Pac-12 and now the Pac-2. Uh, you know, Oregon State's always been that team like, oh, this is Oregon State. You know, they're, they're not that good. But, uh, you know, I think over the years, you know, me and Katan and all the other leaders over there, we, we made a statement that, you know, like uh, the Beavers have uh, impacted. Last question. I know 